sub gauge tube sets. So a lot of shooters don't re realize that you can take for an over and under or a side by side, you can actually get what's called tubes that go in your gun to make it shoot smaller gauges. So like right here, here's a tube. This is for 410. This is 28 gauge, 20 gauge. Now they come in two different colors, uh, the orange and the blue. The orange is for the top barrel and the blue is for the bottom barrel generally. Uh, it's actually marked on here saying which barrel they're for. So before you, when you get them, you'd want to verify that yours are the same as mine, that that would go top barrel. And they're, they're great. These have uh, screw and chokes that extend out from the end instead of flush mount chokes. So if I want to change my choke for longer targets or close targets, I can do that. The, um, they come with uh, the tools to put them in, put them out, to change the chokes. And it's very simple the way it works. So these have an ejector on them, okay? So what we wanna do, so this is for the top barrel. I'm going to insert this into the gun, nice and carefully. Obviously I want a clean barrel and clean up the, um, the outside of the tube. I wanna line up my ejector so both of them, so they work. Once I get it in, I'm gonna take this tool, I set it in here so that my ejector can work properly. I'm gonna tap it in until it's, until it's nice and flush. So now that's nice and flush, the ejectors line up. So now I have ejectors from I'm shooting my sub gauge. I have extended choke tubes, so they come out. To remove the tube, it's very simple. You have this tool here. It fits in the end of the barrel. And just tap it. Gently tap it, gently remove it. Tube is out. Now, with these, you have two basic options through Briley Manufacturing, who makes these, is you have your companion tubes, which you tell them, I want tubes for a Browning 725 with 30 inch barrels, or at a 686, whatever gun you have, you tell them to make the model barrel length, engage, and they will make a set of tubes and send them to you and they should fit right into your gun. And generally with skeet chokes is what you'd have in, in your gun with uh, flush mount chokes. That's the cheapest, easiest version. The better version would be going with their custom tubes where you send the gun to them. They fit the tubes the exact length of the barrel for your specific gun. That is the better alternative than getting the companions, which work, and I did well with companion tubes before I get custom fitted. You have two different weights for companion tubes. You have the ultralights and the standards. There's a weight difference on those. The ultralights are a little bit nicer to use because they're a little lighter. With the custom fitted, you have three different options. You have the standard weight, the ultralight, and the ultralight with the rifling. You can talk to Briley, which uh, will tell you which one's the best for you. And they're great. I love them. I've done very well with uh, sub-gauge events and sporting clays with shooting tubes. Now, just like any other gun, any other gauge, you need to be careful with them. Make sure you put, your if you're going to use 20 gauge tubes, you have 20 gauge ammo, 410 tubes, 410 ammo. You want to be careful with that. Also, uh, with these tubes, we're not trying to manhandle them. We're not trying to bend them. We're not trying to knock them down, hitting concrete. So we tap them in gentle. We tap them out gentle. If you have a problem, then you contact 
barley. The other option would be Kohler shotguns also makes tubes for guns. So that would be an, another route to go. I personally like the Briley. I've had great success with dealing with Briley and uh, with my Briley tubes. Well, that's the tube set for a standard 12 gauge over and under gun. For more tips, subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day.